It's autumn, and it's time to make a chestnut chocolate spread. The spiny burr has opened, and the nuts have fallen. Each one has fallen. The burrs have fallen to the ground with the leaves, and also with it, the chestnut. Time for gathering. I hope to one day make it a family tradition to go collect chestnuts. So I'm starting my daughter off early. She's two, and she's doing a wonderful job collecting chestnuts off the ground. I'm putting them into a saucepan full of water just to see if they float. If they float, they're no good for eating. Check them away, but if they sink, that means they're good to eat. It's also a good time to give them a quick rinse and wash because most of these chestnuts were picked up off the ground. So it's good to just remove any dirt or grass or debris. That way they're ready for some boiling. After a nice shower, the chestnuts will look beautiful and they're ready to get scored. To score a chestnut, you want to make an X across its belly, uh, but to do so safely, you'll need a um, damp cloth because chestnuts are really slippery and they keep sliding and you want to turn on the light that way you can um, actually see what you're doing and there it is a perfect score an X across the belly Sunflower. scoring and then boiling or roasting the chestnuts just makes it easier to peel off the shell outer shell I'm a humble man but let me blow my own trumpet doesn't that look nicely scored? Let's go! Place the scored chestnuts in the pot of cold water. heat to obtain a nice gentle simmer and place a cover tilt it slightly open simmer for approximately 30 minutes the total boiling time will depend on their size and what you plan on making with them which we are making a chocolate chestnut spread turn off the heat Leave the chestnuts in the pot with the water to cool down. When cool enough to handle, work quickly with one chestnut at a time to remove the outer shell as it hardens quickly. With the tip of a spoon, remove the outer shell and then peel off the inner skin. Repeat until there are no more nuts. Yeah, it is quite squishy. We make something with it, we eat with it. Don't drink it, Autumn. Autumn, don't drink it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yucky. Orange for you be sick. You put the chestnuts in there? This is probably the most time consuming and laborious part of making the chestnut spread, but enjoy quality family time. We have about 350 grams of boiled chestnuts here. If you know an easier way to peel chestnuts, please leave it. I believe a comment in the comments, please. 
in a medium saucepan over medium heat, whisk together the milk with the sugar. Make sure the sugar is dissolved, then add the cooked chestnuts and vanilla extract and bring to a low simmer. Simmer on low heat for about 20 minutes or until there are half to two thirds cups of liquid left. Stir occasionally, especially towards the end of the cooking time to prevent scorching. Then transfer the chestnuts without the liquid to a food processor and puree until smooth. If necessary, stop and scrape down the sides. Add some of the liquid until the desired consistency is achieved. Once the mixture has cooled down, store in an airtight container in the refrigerator for four to five days or frozen for up to two months. And that's the chestnut puree recipe. Now to turn the chestnut puree into a chocolate spread. We'll be using Woodica's 76% cacao. Break apart the chocolate or chop it up and put into a small bowl and set aside. In a small saucepan over medium heat, heat the double cream and chestnut puree until just simmering. That looks about right. Pour the hot cream mix over the chocolate and stir until the chocolate is completely melted. Added sugar as desired. Here comes the taste test. recipe might need adjusting. How's it taste? <laughs> Those that have a keen eye for detail, I use the same jar throughout the process. Oh look, a bow. Isn't that cute? Anyways, serve the chestnut spread warm or store in the refrigerator to serve chilled. The chestnut chocolate spread will thicken in the refrigerator but will remain a spreadable consistency like that of Nutella. Try it on toast, it's awesome. General feedback was, it could use more sugar. But anyways, please like and subscribe for more.